Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the factor of safety. So, in simple words, the factor of safety means that at which factor your structure is safe, your structure or machine is safe. So, to explain in detail, I will define the factor of safety is equal to the capacity divided by the demand. So, it shows that the capacity of your structure or machine and demand of your structure or machine. So this value should always be greater than the one, this ratio. It shows that the capacity of your structure or machine should always be greater than the demand. Capacity of your machine or structure should always be greater than the demand. That's why we have a value which is greater than the one. Otherwise, if your demand is greater than the capacity, then it means that the load is acting on your structure or machine is more than the capacity so of course this machine or structure will not work and it will collapse that's why we always design our structure with more capacity than the demand coming on the structure the factor of safety depends upon the importance of the structure or machine that how much your structure or machine is important if it is less important then this value may be taken in the range of 1.4 1.5 or something like this but if your structure is more important, our machine is more important, then you have to take the value of 2 or 3, which is which means that the capacity of your structure in this case is higher than demand. 2 means that it's 2 times more than the demand. Your capacity is 2 times more than the demand. 3 factor of safety means that it is capacity of your structure is 3 times more than the demand. The higher the factor of safety value is, the higher the capacity of the beam or of your structure. And it also shows that if you achieve the higher factor of safety, your structure becomes more uneconomical. I will try to explain this factor of safety in more detail with the help of a simple example. Let's suppose that this is a steel bar and it, it is been tensioned on both sides with a force equal to 300 kilonewton. The cross section of this steel bar is 0.1 meter. And 0.1 meter and the capacity of this beam the maximum allowable the the ultimate capacity of this steel bar is 100 megapascal and we want to know that what is the factor of safety of this steel bar so the ultimate capacity of this is 100 megapascal it means that the maximum stress that it can take is 100 megapascal it is the capacity of this steel bar so we can write it here that the factor of safety now is equal to the ultimate stress or ultimate load divided by the allowable load that how much load is coming on this or allowable stress how much stress is coming on this steel bar and what is the ultimate stress we know that the ultimate stress is 100 megapascal but we don't know about the allowable stress so allowable stress is equal to the force divided by the cross section area. So the force is 300 dividing by the area which is 0.1 cross 0.1 which is a rectangle a square. So this value, this is in kilonewton and this is in meter square meter because this is in meter in meter. So we get the value of 30,000 kilonewton Per square meter so to compare with the 100 megapascal we also want to get the value in terms of the megapascal so this will be changed into the mega newton so it will becomes 30 mega newton divided by meter square so it means this is 30 megapascal this is the ultimate this is the allowable load coming on this steel bar so putting the allowable stress here which is 30 megapascal so this will be cut out so this factor of safety is only the ratio and it comes out to be after dividing the this value we get 3.33 so this is the factor of safety for this steel bar the ultimate load was 100 megapascal the ultimate capacity sorry the ultimate uh, capacity of this steel bar was 100 megapascal and the load was allowable load coming on this uh, steel bar was 300 kilonewton with the cross section area of 0.1 and 0.1. So we found out its allowable stress 
dividing the ultimate stress by the allowable stress we get the factor of safety which is 3.3 .3, which is greater than the one so it shows that this uh, steel bar is safe by a factor of 3.33 it means it is quite safe there will be no damage or failure when this load acting on this steel bar are the smaller than the 300 kilonewton but if you are increasing this value your factor of safety will be going to decrease so this was all about the factor of safety hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video